Blessings to our shine. This is Madar from Song of Stones. And I wanted to share some beautiful light with you. Some candlelight. And some salt energy too. It's this um, 100% natural beeswax candle is sitting in a salt lamp. A salt candle holder actually, if you want to get specific. Um, and I lit this one and another one this morning because I was feeling like there was some stagnant energy and some residual chemical smells in the house from, I don't know, from outside, from people coming in and out. Um, as a very sensitive soul, I know there's a lot of you out there who um, are sensitive, like me, especially the people who end up connecting with the crystals and with the natural energies we tend to be we tend to be uh, sensitive because we're attuned to the um, subtle energies of the world and in order to connect with those subtle energies we have to have a heightened sense of heightened senses, period, actually. So one of the things you can do, there's so many things you can do, but I'm going to share a little tip from one who is super, super sensitive to all things chemical, um, especially perfumes and petro, any petrochemicals and um, and also, um, you know, stagnant energies from uh, strong emotions. We don't always tend to think of emotions, strong emotions and strong feelings leaving, leaving um, residual energies, but they do, they really strongly do. I actually remember a story, um, I think I read an article or it was a, in a book or something, where this medium was called into this house where things were, were quite crazy. Things were flying off shelves and electricity was going crazy and... Um, Lots of woo-woo stuff going on in this house. And they called in um, a medium to see about exercising whatever spirits happened to be in the house. And what ended up happening was the medium discovered that it was the strong emotions of the family. There was a lot of tension and a lot of conflict in this family. And that was causing, that was literally causing things to move, things to drop, things to fly around the house. I mean, it was strong. So that's just a little example. I mean, I, I read this a long time ago. I don't know if I could uh, find this story again just to confirm its authenticity because you never know. Um... But it was a really, really, it resonated with me because it made sense to me. And as one who was sensitive I and an empath, and I know a lot of you guys are empaths, 